The next one that we see is the religious freedom to all MDs. I don't know if you've heard about this. But recently, medical doctors have had their religious freedoms withheld from them if they're going to continue in their practice. I'm going to read just a quick article here. It's from a, a popular news, news uh, <clears throat> thing. It says, in a unanimous decision released Wednesday, the Court of Appeal for Ontario reaffirmed the lower court's conclusion that it was reasonable limit on the religious freedom of doctors to require them to connect their patients with willing providers of medical assistance in death and other contentious health services. So that's, that's helping people commit their suicide at the end of their death. Three years ago, this became legal here in Canada. Vulnerable patients seeking MAID, or that medical assistance in dying, abortion, contraception, and other aspects of sexual health care turn to their family physicians for advice, care, and if necessary, medical treatment or intervention. And this was Chief Justice George Strathy. He wrote this. Given the importance of family physicians as gatekeepers and patient navigators in the healthcare system, there is compelling evidence that patients will suffer harm in the absence of an effective referral. This means that they are saying that the patient that goes to their doctor, who is a Christian, is going to suffer harm. Why? Because they can't have help in killing themselves. Why? Because they can't have help in killing their babies. Why? Because they can't have help in practicing safe fornication. So they go to their doctor and the government has said and stated, chief justices even, has said that these people are being harmed because they can't do all these wicked things because their doctor says, nope, I'm not doing it. I'm not touching that. I'm not going to refer you to a doctor that will kill your baby. I'm not going to refer you to a doctor. It, 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 it transcends even them doing the act. They're trying to enforce that they must point them to someone who will. The Court of Appeal for Ontario is now the highest court in the country to have ruled on this thorny question of how doctors' conscience rights should be balanced against the rights of the patients to access publicly funded health services. Around the time that this was implemented, it says <clears throat> that physicians who refused to provide assisted deaths were obliged to meaningfully, in other words, with results, connect their patients with doctors who would. So if the doctor says, eh, I'm not doing it, they have to, by law now, point them to someone who will. So in other words, they're requiring these Christian doctors who have a conscience about such cases to point them to a doctor, to lay hands on another doctor, to be partakers of another doctor's sins, and actually allow, just be a through way for their patients to still get what they want. And it continues on and says, you know, there, there's these different ladies and women and people that are just saying that this is such a great thing. We think this represents a real victory for patients' rights and equitable access to all these things in Ontario. And what it's effectively doing is it's removing any possibility that there would be an MD with any kind of morals in the future step into this field. Think about it. We are going to have nothing but filthy, perverted, reprobate doctors. There's going to be nothing but people that will gladly give you an abortion, that will gladly uh, help you kill yourself, that will gladly give you all the contraceptives you want, that will gladly, without a conscience, do all these things. And the law has enforced that anyone who does have a conscience in such a situation will be forced to at least pass you on, lay hands on, to be partakers of the other man's sins that would do such a thing. This is how mischief is being framed within Canada. This is how the government is slowly intruding on the beliefs and the morals of the Christian world. And the ones who are really standing up for it right now, the ones that they're talking about, yeah, it's mostly, it's mostly Catholics that are doctors, or it's mostly, you know, because there's these great big Catholic institutions, um, Catholic hospitals and that sort of thing. And those are the ones that are standing for it. But there are probably still Bible-believing physicians who want to run their practice in a Bible-believing way, and they're not allowed to do it anymore. 